All right, guys, welcome back. Episode number 202, playing against the Washington State Cougars this week. Uh, they're doing all right offensively, not so much defensively. They can stop the pass-ish, I guess. <laughs> not so much against the run. Their top player, center, free safety, and somebody else I didn't see. We got our quarterback, free safety, and wide receiver, of course, our normal. But they got people injured like crazy. Two receivers with broken ribs potentially will be back this game. We will see. Hopefully that don't, doesn't come into an issue. They get the ball, start the game, first play of the game, and broken tackle, broken tackle, broken tackle. Finally bring him down. <laughs> I'm playing, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to turn the, try to strip the ball on, and it didn't work. So I'll go for the pick, drop the pick too. It's like, well, this isn't going so well. Third and five. Dude's wide open for the first down. Outlaw breaks a couple of tackles. Luckily, runs into his own dude, or he was going for even more yards. The dude hurdles over my guy on the ground, breaks the tackle, throws a dude five yards back. He's like, get off me. <laughs> it's absolutely beast them. This, this guy was a running back. I, didn't, I usually don't associate Washington State with a running game because they got Mike Leach, the, the old Texas Tech coach. So, Air Raid, dude ran all over me this game. Third and 22, backups in the game, get hit by three guys, just lob it up deep. Green has a step, doesn't get knocked down. 51 yards later, first and 10. Second and 10, Dahl's back in the game. Hit Wiggins for the first down. I'll take it, 13 yards. Um, once again, Dahl's out. He ends up getting injured for the rest of the game. I think it was like bruised something. But he was a wuss about it, so he's injured. So Maxi comes in once again for me this year. Uh, Dolls taking too many hits. It's because I got sacked so much is what it was. Fourth and goal. You know what? I'm going to go for it. And what happens? King comes through with me for the touchdown. Ties it back up 7-7. Seven seven. Second and eight now. Dumps it off underneath. First and 10. Broken tackle. Yeah, 16 yards. I knew that was happening. I knew that play was coming. Still couldn't stop it. Dude breaks the tackle on the sack. Just like shrugs me off. Luckily, the computer picks it because I wasn't going to do it because I would miss it. And we get our first turnover of the game. Happy about that with about a minute 20 left. First and 10. Hit King wide open down the middle. Down the seam. Y'all don't want to cover my tight end. I'll throw it to him all game long. Try to force it to Y. Luckily, he steps in front of the guy instead of behind him for the first down. Third inches. King again. They kept leaving him open. I kept throwing it to him. I got no problems doing that. And as you can see, this game was was out of the norm. I got 150 passing yards in the first quarter. <laughs> throwing the ball around like crazy. McCauley gets a touchdown. I don't even know who he is. McCauley Culkin or something. But it doesn't matter. We, we go up 14-7. Heel hits a nice big run, breaks a tackle, throws a guy on the ground. Go for a little screen pass, and I, I actually fall victim to it. It happens every now and then. Oh, my gosh. Dude just ran down the sideline. Still never bring him down. He just steps out of bounds. It's all good, though. Third and six. Trying to keep them from scoring. And has all day throw. Throws it out of bounds. So they, they settle for the field goal. We, we are still up by four. First and ten. And a couple of big blocks. First down, baby. We heard my 10th first down of the game in the second quarter already. <laughs> now, if this was Dahl, I would have scored. But it was Mike Maxey, so I get a 7 yard gain out of it. Third and five, hit Cruz underneath, and my quarterback is drilled again. They were bringing all kinds of pressure on me. Third and 11, um, dump it off underneath the green for almost the first down. Not quite there enough. Fourth and two. I take my field goal to stay up by seven, but they got plenty of time to score. Go for almost a pick. Didn't quite work out that way. Third and 10. They milk the clock a little bit, draw back pass, and they hit the back out of the backfield for a huge first down game. And that's all they need. Second and 10, 20 seconds left. Throws it to the out route, of course. <laughs> it's either this landing across the middle of the out route. The computer knows what they're doing. And the dude gets burned bad in this zone right here. It's supposed to be three deep, and it was just him by himself. So they tied up for the half. The ensuing kickoff. We might go all the... Oh, he trips him. He clips my feet going to the half. It's all good. We end up being tied. Which is fine. Looking at the stats, we are throwing the ball around like like we've never done before. 230 yards passing, only 50 up rushing yards, man. And we still have time of possession, which is kind of crazy, but we're, we're moving the ball pretty good. Tried to throw it to the other side of the screen and didn't work out for me. Pick six. <laughs> Pick six, man. Not happy about that. It's all good, though. Because there was a personal foul clipping, so no pick six. They got to go back and try again. Second and ten. Drop back to pass. Hits the back out of the backfield. Stewart comes up, make a big hit. Nope, get thrown to the ground. <laughs> the safe, the 50, the linebacker get thrown to the ground. High was just a beast, man. Williams can can barely bring him down. Third and goal, trying to keep him out of the end zone and playing in multiple positions with Lewis. Who do I got? Who do I got? Who do I got? And knock, oh, knocks him down just short of the touchdown. Fourth and goal, they hand it off. I was Cruz on the end, but it sucked him into the inside. So they go up 24-17. The ensuing kickoff, get a couple of big blocks. We might go all the way. It's going to be 30. Yes, sir. Thank you. Cruz with his kick return. I think that's the second of the year. I'll take it, man. We tie it right back up 24-24. So they get the ball now. First and 10. No, sir. <laughs> no buck sweep for you. 
Third and 23, hits the guy down the middle, outlaw, just short of the first down, so they get a punt. I'm happy about that. Finally forced the punt. So I go for the buck sweep. Look at this. Heard. Heard just down the sideline. Boom, baby. Yes, sir. I'll take 20 yards on a pop. If I can run the ball that well, drop back pass again. A was a good option, um, but I ended up hitting the, the Y across the, uh, out of the backfield to the left. First and goal, 100 yards on the day. Took me to the third quarter to get that. <laughs> but it's all good. We score again. Go up 31-27. Uh, pass third and seven. Didn't work out so well. Fourth and seven, they end up punting the ball uh, typically before the half if I stop them. And then the half expires. Like, they're, they're going to punt it. And then at the start of the fourth quarter, they go for it. They didn't this time. So that gives me plenty of time to march down the field and milk the clock. Third and five. Hit Temple for a huge first down, first and goal. Second goal now. A little read option. Triple option. I mean, that was going the distance no matter where I was at. That was a huge play. Good read on my part. 38-24. But I gave him too much time on the clock. Man, five minutes. And the gang tackle. That's what I'm talking about. Finally didn't break a tackle. But it wasn't the back of the backfield who straight up stiff arms and keeps on running through that dude. Luckily, I trip him up. So it's going to come down to if I can hit his toes, I can tackle him. Other than that, not going to happen. Second inches, they get a huge first down. Three minutes left, hand it off to the back. I miss him. He runs over a guy, runs it to his own dudes, <laughs> and they carry him for 17 yards, almost a touchdown a couple plays later. He just runs over my safety. Oh, my gosh, dude. Uh, bring him within seven. So Temple, little run up the middle. Yeah, I can run the ball with my, my receivers also. Hand it off to Cruz this time. Get a block 80. Oh, my gosh. You got to hold him, man. Hold him just a little bit. Grab a hold of him, but it's all good. Third and 13, hit King for the touchdown to go on top even more. Throw up 45-31. They hit Watkins on the little, just stopped in the zone, man. Nobody was over there. It's all good. First and 10. And underneath, Brown can't make tackles. <laughs> Five white jerseys there. It's like all white jerseys on the screen. Can't make a tackle. First and 10. Hit Watkins again. Still can't bring him down. Somehow get him out before he scores. Next play. And yeah, bring it within seven. So second and five, just trying to get the first down. We get the first down. That's going to be enough to milk the clock. We squeak out with the win, 45-38. Very happy about that. Would have loved to have been much more lopsided, but that wasn't the case. Player of the game, heard 19 carries, 144, two touchdowns, seven receptions, 25 yards. Like I said, I was throwing the ball around like crazy this game. Very, very happy about that. Running the ball ended up coming through in the clutch. But games around the country, nobody's ranked, so it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> On to what else is new. Now, look at that. 180 rushing yards, 324 passing yards, man. We threw the ball like a boss, dude. Heard offensive player of the game, Jones, defensive player of the game, two tackles. And that away, Jones. That way, step it up and get those tackles, dude. I like it. But that's going to be it for our game. Let's check out and see everybody else did this week. All right, it's going to show the highlights from the game against Washington State. I don't know what the deal was. Dog got hurt early in the game, so I had to rely on the backup. But I thought I threw the ball extremely well, man. Um, didn't really run the ball as much with my quarterback. That's pretty balanced. I ended up only winning by seven. <laughs> It was a crazy game, but it is what it is. We get the win. That's all that really matters. Let's see what everybody else did this week. This is a little day behind because um, we had some crazy weather down in Texas, and I was my dad wasn't really stuck, but I decided to stay um, with my my wife's parents over the weekend and didn't want to try to risk it going back home um, Sunday night. So every video this week is going to be a day behind. That's on me, but we'll be back to back to normal next week, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. So. See everybody else did. North Carolina ends up losing at 21 to 17 to uh, Stanford. Pretty good game there. So number two no longer. Louisville ends up winning 53 to 50 over Heat and Knights. West Virginia ends up winning 44 to 30. You want to see the Missouri game? You go check out the Italians channel. Links down in the description. He ended up playing his game and uh, recording it. And that's who he played this week. And Mark, more than likely, if you want to see that game, he said he's going to upload all of his user games. So his link is also down in the description. Make sure you go check that out. So we're going to skip over Brian Gators real quick. Michigan State ends up winning 28-20. to Southern Miss wins 37-27. We saw Mid-Tennessee State ends up losing by 3, 53-50. Stanford wins 21-17. LSU wins 33-20. Florida ends up winning 77-0. And like I said, you want to see the Tennessee game, check out the Italian channel. Link's down in the description. And uh, we're good to go. So we're going to advance it real quick, see what's going on for week 12. And we'll be right back. All right, let's get done with the advance. We'll play against Oregon this week. They are 6-3. and three. We are 7-2. and two. Trying to finish out the season strong. See everybody, or everybody, or who everybody else is playing. I'll get it out eventually. North Carolina's playing Virginia. Louisville's playing Wake Forest. West Virginia's playing Oklahoma State. Missouri is playing Mid-Tennessee State. Michigan State's playing Rutgers. Southern Miss playing UAB. Mid-Tennessee State's playing Missouri. Stanford against USC. LSU's got a bye week. Florida's playing then playing... South Carolina. I have no idea what I just said. And Tennessee against Army. 
So there was a little bit of shakeups in the top 25, as you can see. I moved up a little bit. Let's see how everybody else did. We got two, three, um, five, six, all lost. Wow. So I am now number three. LSU still has a, a tough conference championship to, to hold off on, um, as well as a couple of user games, I think, left. Um, I still have at least a conference championship against the user who's undefeated. So <laughs> it's going to be a battle. It's going to be a battle. North Carolina still has a conference championship more than likely against uh, against his brother over there at Louisville. So it could easily, easily change the top five for sure. I mean, unless West Virginia loses to the computer, which they don't see happening, um, he's got that locked up. It's just a battle for everybody else who's going to play him. But right now, LSU, Arizona State, North Carolina, Florida, Louisville, uh, Michigan State, Missouri, Stanford, Mid-Tennessee State, and anybody close? No. Tennessee was at 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So they're about 30th. They're getting there. They're getting there. Let's like check the BCS, the one that really matters. Yeah, right now, LSU's got me. I have two losses. I'll probably get leapfrogged by North Carolina because he's only got one loss. My two losses absolutely hurt my chances to make it to the national championship, but you never know. You never know. I played I played a pretty tough schedule, I think. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what the computer thinks, so it's uh, it's always up to them. But we got one, two, three, four, and then seven, eight. So six out of the top ten rated. I, I like that. And then we got 12, 13, 14, all right there also. A lot of people, a lot of people rated in the top 25. I like the way it looks. I like what I see. Check out the, um, let's check out the conference standings, actually. See where everybody's sitting in their conference real quick. Um, I have the South. It looks like Stanford's got the North more than likely. Um, so we're going to be playing each other. SEC East, Missouri, and Florida. I think they still have to play. Uh, Tennessee fighting his way back up there after a rough start to the season. But he's coming along pretty nicely. Uh, the West Side, LSU's got that pretty much locked up. Some belt, don't think we have anybody over there. ACC Atlantic, LS, or Louisville's um, pretty much... We got the free shot at it and against North Carolina. It's user versus user there. American, I don't think anybody's over there. Big 12, we got West Virginia, of course, who's going to try to beat Oklahoma State. I mean, that's a pretty good pretty good Oklahoma State team. The Italian recruited his butt off over there to build them up. Big 10, Michigan State is looking pretty good. More than likely against Iowa. Used to be a user. I mean, almost everybody in the Big 10 at one point was a user, which is kind of crazy. Conference USA, you got Mid-Tennessee State. And Southern Miss has a chance to, to, to creep on up there for a nice conference championship game um, if, if it all works out well. Nobody in the MAC um, in the Mountain West? Um, no, we used to, we don't anymore. And then back to the Pac 12. So we're looking pretty good. I mean, most of the users are, are at the top of their conference looking to, looking to produce and get to their conference championships, which is what we like to see. Hi, everyone, watch. We got Stanford, Florida. Louisville, North Carolina, the Mid-Tennessee State had pretty good games overall, everybody. Nice to see all users up there making the names for themselves. <laughs> Trying to get that Heisman. I'm not going to get there, but uh, it's, it's nice to see everybody else up there. And that's going to be it. We are once again on a long delay because of the new year. I know I'm going to be busy. I got half a day New Year's Eve, and then I'm more than likely going over to the Italian's place and watching all the bowl games if possible. And then we got New Year's Day, like... Not working, but probably not going to do much. <laughs> so we're going to be on the long delay again. Everybody was ready early, but I was out of town this past weekend. And then plus the extra day. So that's my fault on that. But, I mean, can't control the weather. You know what I mean? And it's Texas. <laughs> Over the weekend, we've had like all four seasons. So you, 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 get, you get my point. It's been a crazy, crazy weekend. But we play Oregon next week. Hopefully we can finish out the season strong, make it to the conference championship, and play against Stanford. That's what we're looking for. But as of right now, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see y'all next time.